Hello everyone, my name is Drinky Forever, and today we are back with the Silent Hill Play Novel. I need to load my save. There it is. Sybil looks in the doorway and at the same time gasps. I think this is where we left off last time. Uh, there is staircase leading to the basement. Let's try that. There was not a room there. Just inside the doorway, there was a staircase leading to the basement. It is not lit, so from her position, Sybil cannot judge how far down it goes. Upon first glance, Sybil senses that this door was not opened by Harry. From the inside, someone came up the stairs. And then she became sure of this. There was a large blood stain on the knob on the inside of the door. Sybil descends the long staircase while keeping one hand on the wall. For what reason did someone make this? This staircase leading to the bowels of the earth, extending down from the first floor of what seemed like a normal hospital. She is paying very close attention to make sure not to lose her step. She gets the feeling that she has been descending for quite a long time. Suddenly, the staircase ends, and flat ground is then under her feet. Sybil almost tripped without realizing it. It is hot. Somewhere, something is burning. To her front, far off in front of her, a small red light can be seen. The red light is swaying. It wriggles like a hand waving someone to come forth. After the chilly lobby, the heat is unimaginable. The extraordinary heat feels almost as if magma from within the earth has arisen, and because of it, Sybil has to bend down as she walks from time to time. That room is not far now. Sybil's sleeves have caught fire. The fire is gradually spreading around her footing, and Sybil's entire body is engulfed in flames. She may or may not have realized this. Sybil continues forward. As she entered the room, she noticed two people, Dahlia and a girl dressed in blue. The two of them are facing each other amongst the blazing flames, staring at each other's expressions. When the two of them notice Sybil's presence, they turn to face her. Dahlia looks surprised and the girl looks calm. Their expressions are in great contrast to each other. Not a single word was spoken. Sybil approaches the two, reads something in the eyes of the girl, pulls her gun from a pocket, and then places the muzzle against Dahlia's forehead. When she came to, Sybil was sleeping on a small bench in the cafe. Cheryl is standing next to her, gazing out the window at the steadily falling snow. A bike is waiting outside of the cafe for Sybil. Its engine is running. Cheryl smiles brightly at Sybil, opens the door of the cafe, and disappears into the fog. Sybil runs out after her. The end. <laughs> if I had known it was going to end so soon, I definitely wouldn't have uh, started another episode. But man, I feel like we um, we had a better ending for Sybil, for sure, than we did for, for uh, Harry. We had such a terrible ending for Harry, man. I felt so bad. And then in Sybil's, we had even an even worse ending. It was like, my God, man, we cannot keep this dude alive. Like, I don't know what to do. That's so crazy, man, that this, uh, that this ended better for Sybil than it did for Harry. I don't, I don't know. I have to look and see how we can keep Harry alive and maybe, maybe we'll play it again. I definitely want to do a speed run of this, but I don't know if I'm allowed to run this version. I don't think I am. 
And then the speed run is literally, you would just be hitting enter the entire time. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how impressive a speed run of this would be. You'd just be skipping through dialogue constantly. That's, that'd be the whole thing. But yeah, man, this is, this has been a good series. I've enjoyed reading this. Um, some of the translation has definitely been a little iffy, but, uh, overall, I mean, I actually liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. I like this play novel and I'm happy with the way our Sybil story turned out. I'm just so disappointed in what happened to Harry in both episodes. It's such a shame. <sighs> All right, guys, I guess that's it for the Silent Hill play novel series for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to see more endings, if you guys want to see me tackle, you know, more endings for Harry, I'll definitely get back into it if there's, if you guys want to see that. So yeah, definitely let me know. If you liked it, tell that like button, you'll want to smash. And I'll see you next time. You stay you, I'll stay me. Drew forever. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Later.